Hey, what's good, people? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Uzoma Obalor. Welcome back to the vlog. It's great to have you guys back. Thank you guys for watching. Um, first things first, man. We gotta go handle the fasted cardio, right? Shit, we here in the long sleeve in the jumpsuit. Came to sweat, guys. I haven't stepped on the scale in a minute, and I'm when I just want to make sure when I do step on the scale, there's a lot of progress made. You feel me? So I want to make sure that number's real low. So I came here to sweat, I'm trying to get this weight off. All right, so let's go handle this. This is a Chucky Beat production. We did it. We did it. We defeated the dreadful fasted cardio. Now we get to go home, chill, eat, all that good stuff. I'm gonna talk to you guys at the crib, man. I'll see you guys there. Hey, what's up guys? I got um, meals two and three with me right here. I actually combined them because I'm running behind on schedule. So combine meal, meals two and three. And I'm just chilling, man. Your boy's honestly been pretty beat lately. Like the diet, all the, you know, spending all this energy, running on low energy, all that shit is caught up to me and um, it's kind of beating me up. Every time I get through one of those cardio sessions, it's like a freaking miracle, man. My body's just so sore and stuff. That's why you saw me, I'm doing that foam roller after the cardio. And I've been doing that shit so often these days. Like I honestly do it before and after my cardio sessions and before and after my workouts because it keeps my body actually willing to put the work in. Right now, like how I feel, I'm just kind of like dragging myself along and um, foam rolling makes me feel like I have a fresh new body for like three hours. So that really helps, man. I actually have to work on my recovery because if I'm feeling that way, all negative and like so sore and I can't move and the pain is all, if I'm feeling that way, it really affects my mental 
it takes all of my mental energy as well as well as my physical energy so that's an issue that's why i haven't been vlogging as much because man it's taken all my mental energy and it's making me just not do shit so i'm actually having to put in the work to make myself recover so i've been doing that foam roll stuff a lot a lot because when i'm finding myself in that bad mood and i have no energy like that i'm just like counting the days until show instead of making the days count i'm just like so you know dreadful and so dreadful that i'm just like oh okay we got a week left uh you know what i'm saying instead of like Oh, we got a week left. I got a week to pose and, you know, really master my shit and make, you know, oh, I can do this. You know, whatever the case, I'm not really making the days effective when I feel all shitty like so. So I've actually been putting a lot of time into recovery and um, it's been really helping my mood and just making everything go by more smooth. I've been taking a, um, a fat burner now to help me shred. Just been taking it. I'm trying to get my weight on check. The only things that I have to worry about now are my posing and keeping my weight on check. Keeping my weight, you know, just weighing in at the right weight, which is 165 pounds. And I'm not really too concerned about that because, you know, I'm eating, um, I'm at a calorie deficit. I'm pretty good and my cardio has been, you know, keeping the weight off me. But also, if I feel like I need to lose some extra pounds, I'll go swimming or something and swim some laps. So I think I feel very in control of my weight. So I'm not too worried about that. Then it just comes down to the posing. Is my posing really crisp and smooth? And do I feel comfortable? I'll be heading to the gym here pretty soon. Scrape up the rest of my energy and get that out the way. It's been tough, but it's been worth it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still leaving no stones unturned. I'm doing everything I fucking can to make this shit happen, make my dream come true. So... Yeah, and I want you guys to follow along the journey. So, I scraped up all my energy to make this vlog. Keep you guys posted on how your boy's doing. Thank you guys for all the love and, you know, the energy and stuff. Really helping me get through the prep as well. So, I'm going to eat this. And then um, I'm going to take you guys to the gym, alright? My boy's coming to pick me up in like, uh, probably like 45 minutes or so. So, yeah, I'm going to eat this up real quick. See you guys shortly, alright? Yeah, it's time. My boy Raheem made it. That boy taking care of me, man. Taking me to the gym. What's up, bro? What's happening? Chilling, man. <laughs> My car fucked up, guys. Kick back. I'll see you guys at the gym, man. Am I ready? Yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm ready. I um, <laughs> I just took my pre, and I took uh, took the fat burner, and yeah, now I'm about to go smash some freaking arms, guys. We are uh, seven days out right now, believe it or not, and what's today? Saturday. You guys will probably see this on Sunday. But Monday is peak week. And that's when shit's about to get super real, alright? That's when I'm about to get super shredded. And I know, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to be like in the 160s. So I'm looking forward to that. But also, I know it's going to take a lot out of me. But we got to get that pro card. So, let's get it. I'm about to kill this shit.
feels hella good to sit down, guys. So yeah, I got my meal four with me. Some chicken, some almonds, and some broccoli. My favorite meal of the day right there. But yeah, after all this, you know, after I get home from the gym and that, that cardio, I feel, I feel great, guys. It's like another day in the books. Because today's seven days out. <clears throat> and we just completed, what, the fasted cardio and intense workout. That was a good arm workout. And some post-workout cardio. So that's another day in the books, man. All I got to do is chill and eat some more meals. And then I got six more days of that. But um, like I was saying, though. Don't get caught up in counting the days. Like here I am saying it's six more days. Even so, I got to maximize what I can do in six days. You know what I'm saying? I got to maximize the amount of a work output that I can do. Like, you know, how much posing can I get in? How much, um, you know, maybe on the cardio sessions, like instead of putting my hands on the bars, maybe I could do no hands. You know what I'm saying? How much can I, you know, maxim maximize what I can do? And a lot of that for me has been, um, I have to give credit to this foam rolling and stuff because it's helping me recover and I've been able to do those things I'm talking about. Maybe you guys want to add it into your routine, maybe before and after your workouts, or I don't know, maybe once a day, something. I'm sure it would help you guys a lot too. You guys probably don't get as sore as me because I got that alien gain shit. Like, you know, that, that, uh, that shit. And that makes me really sore. And I got it in my legs when I get really um, low. Low and like depleted with the diet, low in calories and stuff, then the alien gains start really acting up and it makes me freaking like 10 times more sore than norm the normal person. So that's why this shit really fucks with me. And the foam rolling has been helping me, especially the legs, because I feel like a freaking stone golem or something. I feel stuck like a statue, but I get to roll that shit out. So it makes me feel like I got a new body, like I said. So try it out. It'll help you maximize what you can do. It'll help you guys recover faster, help me recover faster. And you can get back in the gym or just carry on through your day better. Even that, that's what I like about it. All right guys, thank you for watching. Peace.